Thank you, Mitch. We're heading into a lovely Wednesday, then it should reach 20 degrees on Thursday. Today had mostly cloudy skies with occasional pockets of sunshine. We began on 11 and it peaked just under 15. In terms of days, that is spot on average for August, but this morning was 5 degrees warmer than it should be at this time of year. In August, we averaged 50 millimetres of rain, but the oceans are moving into a drying trend, so we're likely to fall short. That continues in spring and summer, warmer and drier than average. Showers crossed the outer southeastern suburbs this morning and early afternoon, with only the odd one making it further north. Now, in those showers, there was wintry hail in Mornington, which we haven't seen for weeks. Our first cold pool in quite a while, only brushing the coast. We've been predominantly in a mild northwesterly airflow, but today showers were able to graze even the Gippsland coast, not just the west and north. And it was a few degrees colder than it has been in the south. The front with that cold pool of air is now moving out here across the Tasman Sea. And we have high pressure quickly coming in. That'll move to our east tomorrow. So we're going from the cool side to the warm side. There is a strong system crossing a large part of Western Australia tomorrow and we'll see that here later in the week. So as the high moves through, our weather turns pleasant. Then when it is out to our east with that front approaching, we are warm but it is windy. Rain arrives in the southwest corner of the state late on Thursday night, spreading through on Friday. Now this one here has a connection up to the tropics so the heavier falls are on the north northern slopes of the ranges. It'll finally change to snow in the Alps, with all of us experiencing the coldest weather we've seen for quite a while. That's later Friday and on Saturday. So Melbourne, 20 degrees on Thursday, 6 degrees colder by Saturday. Around the nation tomorrow, showers about in Brisbane, mainly early. Dry in Sydney, it's sunny and 20 in Adelaide. Perth likely to see 10 to 20 millimetres of rain with a gusty cold change. To Victoria, areas of morning fog and we have patchy frost in the northeast. Leftover cloud in the west and north gradually clears out to sunshine, while Gippsland looks sunny for much of the day. Winds are light before turning breezy northerly in the west later. Closer in, there is lots of sunshine out there tomorrow. The wind is light for much of the day. There are still pockets of cloud at times, but lots of sunshine around them. A cool start and a mild afternoon. The city is heading into a lovely Wednesday, expecting a top of 17. It does look mostly sunny. To the eight-day outlook on Thursday, that's when we saw up to 20 degrees. But you don't get that jump up in temperature at this time of year without it being blown here. It comes with a gusty northerly wind. Friday is the wet day, mainly afternoon and evening. The coldest part is Saturday. So tomorrow, top of 17, it is mostly sunny. 20 on Thursday, Mitch. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you, Jane.